24 years old, I'm from Sydney. Woohoo! I'm the first in my family to cook, so my brother Jimmy, he can cheer me on while he waits for his turn. I know he's gonna let me know if I'm, I'm doing something wrong, right? So that's good. Come on. Today I'm gonna cook something called bowl and ice cream. Pistachio semi fredo sphere with the twill and blood orange creme anglaise and some ganache. She's looking great. Like, I, I think, you know, just need to pick it up a little bit, but, but she's looking great. <laughs> you know, I love him, but sometimes this just adds to the stress. Jimmy and I grew up in Sydney on the northern beaches, and I've been in Australia for, yeah, 30 years before moving to Vancouver. It's beautiful, but cold. <laughs> I have three kids. I have a daughter. Beautiful. You can just throw it in there. And I have two boys applying for mastership. It's the most selfish thing that I've ever done for myself but they are so supportive and wanting me to just go and chase it and see how far I can go. I'm really lucky. Teresa and I, we are very, very close, even though we haven't lived in the same city for almost about 15 years. You guys hungry? We've always been surrounded by food. It's been a thread that's run through my whole entire family. My father was a restaurateur. With his passing, a lot of the soul of our family, I guess, has gone. But it's incredible now how food and also MasterChef has brought us back together again. Hey, sis, how are you going? Having my brother Jim in the same competition, like, that's going to be hard, but we've both agreed we are just going to fight our hardest. Oh, my goodness, it's amazing how much I'm shaking. You're okay. Great. Uh, this is, uh, like, little juice here, a little pop of citrus. You don't need any more than that. Sometimes she stresses me out. My pants are falling down. <laughs> I'm so sorry, children. <laughs> okay. Let me just taste a bit. Oh, yum. Yum. Oh, are you stealing my food? So good, Teresa. Oh, good. As long as Big Brother approves, eh? Yay! <laughs> oh, yay. Come on. Come on. Woo! Okay, Teresa, start playing. Go grab a bowl. Where's my crumb? Where's my crumb? I love my big brother. Yeah, it, it was good. It was good. It was nice having the little guy on my shoulder. <laughs> I'm gonna go and see the judges and I will run out with an apron. Oh! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. What's your name? Teresa. Wow, what is that? You have to come down, boys. You have to come down and have a look at this dish. It looks spectacular. Tell the boys what you've made. Hi, um, I've made a fallen ice cream. Oh, looks Something good. Something that my kids had a lot of growing up. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a pistachio ice cream with the creme anglaise, chocolate ganache. What are these? Um, blood orange juice spheres. Like, right, okay. So yeah. made to look like cherries. Nice. I like it. And uh, when somebody cooks oh. a twill and gets the colour right, <laughs> then you get that. Right. I just had one of those little boom moments where you go, boom, done. <laughs> it's just, it's a lovely, delicious dessert that you just want to keep banging a spoon back in and keep eating. It's oh, textural. How good is that little blood orange sphere that bursts in your mouth like the best ever ball of orange juice? That was, who, who had the second one of those? That was me. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> that is spectacular. You're lucky you got it, actually, yeah, the other one, because I was going in again. You know, you know what I love? To, to bring us a great twill turned into a cone, to bring us a great ice cream, to bring us some great sauces. We're expecting that. That's, that's what the ordinary home cook does these days. But what we're looking for is that surprise, for that adventure, for that sense of exploration. And for me, that little blood orange ball is enough for me to say you're a big yes. Big yes. Really love it. Yes. Oh. I mean, one hour to produce all of that chocolate sauce, chill, ice cream, custard, 
if this is the cooking you're going to give us now, I can only imagine what you're going to do inside the MasterChef kitchen. Right. Again, you know, technique. It's that cooking where we go, okay, it's ideas, yeah. but then translate it into flavour. There's been a lot of aprons out. The pressure's fully on, and I'm gonna give it a thousand percent and make sure I get one too. That's a bit of encouragement. I mean, talk about inspirational, I want one of those. To have two aprons in the family, I think that would be perfect. Don't you worry about that. I want it so badly. <laughs> I want this. Tristan's got an apron, and it would mean so much to me. I mean, this, this apron would be, you know, the beginning of an amazing journey for me. Everyone, give it up to Jim! I'm making a walk in my Japanese garden. The components are tuna tataki. This is the main element, so just make it perfect. This particular dish has about nine elements. So we have the um, granita. We have the ponzu, beautiful. We have the uh, caper flowers. They're actually just regular capers, but when you fry them, they open up like little flowers. Here are my flowers. Blossoming, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> this one here, I'm just making a flat leaf parsley oil, and that's gonna be dotted around my dish. I'm just waiting for this to heat up because it's a very quick sear. Done. Oh, <laughs> that's nice, Jim. Oh, Come on, Jimmy. Perfect. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I really love to make sure that things are in its place. Good, Jimmy. But it also says a lot about who you are. And to me, plating and also the way that we present says a lot about who we are. So I'm going to show who I am on that plate. <laughs> To go on this journey with my sister would mean the world to me. If Teresa and I get in, it's going to be the most incredible ride. Everything culminates to right now. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? It's really you, George. <laughs> it sure is. What's your name? Jimmy. You've got a Grenada there, haven't you? I do. OK, so you need to work quickly. OK. We're having a look. Oh, look at this. Jimmy, while, while you're planning up, tell us, who are you? I, I, I'm somebody who just loves food, and I can't believe that I'm actually here doing this with you three. So, <laughs> this is amazing. That's well, good. Who are you here with? My family. And actually, I'm here with my sister as well, who has also already gotten an Nathan. What? Serious? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa. Did the ice cream? Well, the ice cream, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Who's a better cook, you or your sister? Oh. <laughs> I would have to say I'm a better cook. Uh, I love it. <laughs> Just run us through this presentation. It looks yeah, beautiful. It looks really good. Yeah. Really, really what what do you got there? It's a tuna tataki with a crispy ginger on top. I've got a ponzu jelly. I've got ghost cheese cream, wasabi and avocado cream as well. And what I want to do is play on the Japanese garden. And I've got fried crispy capers that look like flowers as, as, as you fry them up. It looks absolutely beautiful, Jimmy. It looks really, really nice. Good taste. Yeah, how many times have you made this dish? I've made the dish at least 20 times. It's very different from the first time I made it. I've refined it and I've, I've done it over and over again. So I suppose the question is, if you're faced with a mystery box or an invention test, you know, the spontaneity that you need, the creativity that you need, are you going to be able to deliver? I believe I can. Mm. I, I, I wanna, I've got a more planning question. What happens when you're a pressure test for your sister? That's a very good one. I'm not going to say anything. Yes. 
come with me. Mum, do you want to come? Come on. Have a look over your shoulder. No, 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 no. Stay there. Calm down. Matt, have you said yes yet? I haven't said nothing, Julie. Jimmy, this is absolutely bloody delicious. Oh, that is one of the best dishes I've tasted in Top 50 ever. Oh, wow. Yes from me. <laughs> yes from me. We don't always agree. We're going to see you cook again. Not here, but in the MasterChef kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big yes from me. Oh, dear. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I you know what, I wouldn't say thank you, because I think you may have a very tough competitor in the 24 now with your brother being there. He is a good. really good cook, and that is a very fine place of food. <laughs> <laughs> I've asked your brother the same question. Who's a better cook, you or him? We both are different. <laughs> your, brother, your brother is so not so diplomatic. Your brother thinks <laughs> me, I'm so much better, just so you know. All right, um, well, I'll have to prove him wrong. Uh, look, yeah. I'm looking forward to a bit of sibling rivalry between the two of you. You're both really great cooks. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks very much. Right. Thank Brilliant you. Stuff. Careful on the celebrations, though. Huh? Keep it under control. Okay, thanks very much. Thank, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> As a final dish, that was such a cracker. Every element was just spot on.